hundred years ago, there were one and a half billion people on Earth. Now, over six billion crowd our fragile planet. But even so, there are still places barely touched by humanity. But we're not talking about that today. Europe. This large landmass can look quite peaceful from a distance, but following its collapse in 476, reality was the contrary. With disease, warfare, and a lack of centralized rule, Europe reverted to a largely rural existence. Germanic peoples, whom the Romans had viewed as barbarians, now dominated Western Europe. Let us delve deeper into the interior of Europe. A Roman stands in his natural habitat. Things seem to be going pretty well for him. Things seem to be going pretty well for me. But oh, what's this? A Germanic barbarian seems to be stalking his prey. Who are you? Ja, I'm a German barbarian, Ja. Jeremy the librarian? How did you know my book was overdue? Nein, I'm a German barbarian. A vegetarian? Ew, I hate vegetables. Nine, nine, nine! German barbarian, you fool! Oh, thank God. I was scared for a minute. Oh, oh. oh boy. It appears that the Roman has taken Europe for himself. But what's this? Another imposter? Uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Charlotte, and I'm here to help. Also, I've got standardized measurements. Cool, you want to be my imperial ruler? Awesome, yes, I am so honored. I have so many great ideas. I'm going to return Rome to its former glory. So, therefore, my answer is an absolute... Yeah. It appears that no single ruler can last long in this hectic region of the world. Whatever could help to unite Europe once again. Oh, hey, look. It's the Roman Catholic Church standing in its natural habitat, which just so happens to be the vacuum left by the fall of the Roman Empire. And there is its hierarchy of popes, bishops, and priests. Modeled after the Roman Empire, the Catholic Church took on some of Europe's political, administrative, and educational roles. The Church became quite wealthy, with reformers often accusing it of losing its central spiritual mission. The Church was condemned because of its vast wealth. Nonetheless, the Church's missionaries managed to spread Christianity throughout Europe by blending with earlier cultural traditions. For example, amulets and charms became medals with the image of Jesus or Mary, and December 25th was selected as Jesus' birthday for it was associated with the winter solstice, the coming of light. Speaking of religion... Oh, who are you? Who are you? Well, I'm Christianity. Well, I'm Buddhism. Well, I've got money. Me too! Well, what do you think about magic and stuff? You love it? Well, me too! Did we just become best friends? I think so! Yo. It's every day, bro, with that income flow! Got churches! Got monasteries! You don't even know! Got Afro-Eurasia, man, the Americas are next! Man, I'm spreading far as heck! Got these converts by the neck! And we got prophets too, starting the religious group! We, we got, got the, the OG Jesus! Buddha! Dude! Dude. I don't know what to do. I don't want to be a nun, but I don't want to get married. You know, I'm going to start a club. Girls only. Some women have started to camp outside the church, entering the city on their own. They are the Beguines, who live outside of monastic life and the institutional church. They spend their time practicing celibacy, weaving, and helping the poor. Girls night! What independence! What pride! If this trend continues, women might have equality in another 700 years or so. Oh. It... it might. Oh look, some men are expressing their opposition to the Beguines. Hey, you can't have a sword in a club. What are you doing? 
I'm just being a self-sufficient, helpful individual. Don't worry, you don't have to do that. We're men. We'll protect you. No, nah, man, I got this. But masculinity and stuff. <laughs> no, we're gonna protect you instead. Wait, wait, no! Uh! And thus, tightening male control of women took place in Europe in response to the Beguines. Let's see how Christianity's doing. <laughs> the slaughtering of thousands of Jews and Muslims were just a couple results of the Crusades led by Western Europe in an attempt to expand the world of Christendom. And that's all the time we have today on this episode of Planet Europe. Can we make a bloopers? Can we make a bloopers segment? Yeah. And just put that in? <laughs> it's everyday, bro, with that income flow. Got churches, got monasteries, you, you don't, don't even know. Got Afro Eurasia, man, the Americas are next. Man, I'm spreading far as heck. Got these converts by the neck, and we got prophets too. Starting the religious truth. We got, got the, the OG, OG Jesus, Buddha, dude. dude.